really happy for our guys that they, they found a way to, to get out of win. Um, you look at the minutes um, that our guys played, you know, with only six scholarship guys, and, you know, Travante Blubman must have a third along in there somewhere. He just played so hard for 39 minutes like that. Um, then Craig Swore did some really good things for us as far as having an assist to a uh, turnover ratio that was positive. You look at Colin Borker, he had 10 rebounds in the first half and finished with a double-double. Um, but just finding a way to, to gut out a win and then to go in the locker room and see so many people happy for Baxter Price. He's just been an absolute warrior for us every day in practice. So um, the last thing I want to say is like you, you get a chance to, to read some things and, and people are talking about we're the worst team ever in SEC history. So I guess we can't be that if we finish 13th out of 14th. <laughs> the, the players are mentioning that you know Denson was trying to get to the basket, was doing having a lot of success. You guys called timeout and said, "Cut off his left hand, don't let him drive left." One correction: he wasn't trying; he he was. <laughs> he, he got to the basket every single time, and you know, Scott and report. We told him, "Don't let him go left. He's going left." He was coming off a pin down screen and just turning the corner and really causing problems for us defensively. So uh, we made a couple of adjustments as far as like trying to take that away from him on the catch. But uh, he went right, you know, one time and had a turnover there on the baseline. But uh, you can tell your guys with him, don't let him go left, close out short. But he is really quick, you know. He has some fast switch fibers there. He caused our defense a lot of problems by getting to the paint so easily. Uh, Sword, um, Borkett and Sword both had great games, obviously. But Sword, I mean, kept the turnovers down, uh, made some shots and hit the free throws, even though he'd been struggling at the line there. Yeah, you know, when I was wondering where our offense was going to come from there uh, because we struggled there offensively in the first half. But, you know, to our guys' credit, they did a good job defensively as well in the first half too. But, you know, we, we ran some ball screen actions for uh, Craig Sword up top early. He got into the lane. He created offense, you know, for himself, got to the foul line, just broke down the defense right away because we wouldn't have a lot of success in our motion. So, yeah. um, you know, Craig's that guy for us. That's got to be able to get into the lane and go make plays when we can't find offense.